Hi guys, it's Wheeling, and today I'll be doing a presentation on what should you do if you want to video chat with a person online who is from a different country. So let's begin. To video chat with a person online, like say for instance, if a friend is from another country, say for instance the Philippines, always get your parents' supervision, everybody. This includes if you want to video chat with the person, it's fine, but make sure you have the permission to do it. No permission, you can't video chat. It is very important to ask permission from a parent or an adult. Guardians can also join as well. Just as long as you're telling them exactly why are you doing this. Apparently, when I watched a brain pop video, it says to always get your parents' permission before chatting with a friend online or if they want to see you. This goes for everyone. That actually includes Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, and many more. So please, guys, ask permission from your parents before chatting with them. If you don't, then you can't be doing that. You cannot also chat with an online friend alone. You must have the privilege to do this. If you do not have the privilege to chat with a friend online, then you won't be able to do it. So remember, all around the world, you see a friend who's from a different country. If the person is not real, don't chat with them. This goes for all of you guys. And we want to keep people safe from that. So apparently, if the behavior is risky, tell an adult immediately. And as well as this, having the chat. Pick the right place, somewhere quiet and away from others. Try to remove any distractions before you start. Don't push it. If they say they don't want to talk, let them know and you're free to change their mind. Starting the conversation. You can use these examples right here. How to respond. Please be a good listener. Ask the questions as they say. Don't try to solve the problem for them. If they say they're not okay, ask them what is going on and let an adult know. If you're worried about their safety, let someone know, especially when a person is following another person on Instagram or Facebook. For communicating safety, we wanted to say this, are they real or are they fake? So be careful of people who you chat with. Especially, always, always look at their profile picture and look at their post before you follow them. Check to make sure if the person is real. If the person is real, you can follow them. If the person is not real, never ever try to follow them. You should always, always keep a close eye on your children as well, parents. And please, if you are chatting online or doing a video chat, it is important not to share personal information. It is never okay to do that. And if the person sees that, you are going to get into trouble as well. We don't want anyone to do this, and we want to keep people safe. Beware of too much of privacy. Kids may keep feel safe to revealing your body parts. It is never okay to do that. And respect other people's wishes. If they're uncomfortable with it, don't do it. Don't fall into a false sense of security of familiar people in the United States. 90% of their victims know the abuser. So apparently, it is important to, to be safe while video chatting. If you want to video chat with a person online, it's fine. But if you know the person from school, it's fine as well. But if you don't know the person like who you haven't met, always get a parent always get an adult or guardian to be with you especially when you're chatting this is why we want to keep people safe from it we don't want to end up being caught without permission without permission you can get into serious trouble and this is not a lie 
This is for everyone who should know this by now. Apparently this has been happening a lot and I noticed some people doing that. And that's the end of my presentation on video safety with a friend who is from a different country and you have never met.